What's going on, guys, and welcome back to Hydronia. Well, last time we put dirt into a bucket, into another bucket, did some wizardry, put that onto a table, got money, used that money to buy new things, found a map, called a track to Betty, found out we can fight louder than dynamite, made a cave, found a drill and a harvester in a tent, put that outside of a hole, and then filled the hole with ore. Hopefully, you got all that because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> So the first thing I want to do today is actually organize this. I want to put this into its own piles and then we can start smelting it. But I want to do it in a more efficient way. So here's me just doing my thing, editing the last video. And then I noticed something. I was like, wait, that item exists in game? And yep, my eyes was not deceiving me. It is a hand sorter. Pour resources into the sorter to split out the resource type that is on the tray. So you put an item on this tray, you then pour it into that, and then it spits it out. But it needs to be connected by a pipe as well. So let's buy one of them. Uh -huh. Wait, where's my coin? Is there any in here? Oh, there is. Uh, it's not enough. I'm just wondering where we can get some gold from. So let's just stand here and keep smashing E. So I've been here for about five minutes now, and I've made kind of just a hole in the middle of the gems. <laughs> Wait, this gives me an idea. There we go. That's better. Now let's walk to the, the store with like 6 FPS. Put them on there. Oh, I can get 3,469. Hell yeah. Saying that though, there's a lot of power shards in there. Let's just put you in there. I'm going to take you down to the store. Purchase the sorter. And then I need to remove my little tool kit. Um, and then I need to change that pipe for the T-junction like that. Let's put another straight onto that as well. And then can we connect you? Wait, it's got to be in the direction it's facing, right? So let's put that that way. Then connect you to there. Turn you on. Oh, I didn't I put that the wrong way. Rip. And then let's put some gold on the tray. So then if I just fill a bucket, which means I've got to keep smashing E again. And there we go. Thor's hammer is getting a little bit bigger. So then let's power that on there. Wait, where's my gold go? Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a lot more gold than I thought there was. And remember, if you're enjoying the video, please remember to like and subscribe to see future content. What the hell are you doing? Okay, so I, th I think it's safe to say we need some conveyor belts. So that means we're going to need to go on a road trip. We're going to head over to the next town because obviously uh, the, the shop we have here is very limited on supplies. And you guys in the comments have been saying go over to a uh, to Bridgeport because, well, that's where like majority of the stuff is. So we're going to head over there. Whoa. Jeez. That got a little uh, little bumpy. Got a little bumpy. Which way is it? I think it's this way. It was more like south east of where we was anyway. Oh, this has to be it. Bridgeport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Vehicles with more vehicles coming soon. These are pretty cheap. The question is, though, is what benefit do these have? Do they have different speeds or something or, or what? I, I don't know. Itchy carts. Oh, Jack Sparrow's here. Wait, is this is this literally just selling carts? Wait, agile? Fast? What? There's different models. Oh. <gasps> there we go. Central what are what are these? Centralizer hook. Hooks onto conveyor belts. A center's resources pass through. Oh, it senses it like. Oh, so he kind of just pushes the item. So if a conveyor belt was here. The items will come along and then it'll send you... Ah, so it'll kind of like, like create like a, a nice straight line. Uh, Clotium Dirt Shredder. Hooks onto conveyor belts and shreds excess dirt down to a smaller physical size. Forged Iron Dirt Shredder. Hooks onto conveyor belts and shreds excess dirt down to a smaller physical... Wait, that's a Clotium one. Okay, so that's just uses more... That's got like a gold one. And then a for, Forged Iron Dirt Shredder. Tier 1. Hooks onto conveyor... Wait, is that the same? That's the same. Gem polisher hook. Hooks onto conveyor belts and polishes gems that pass through it. Interesting. And then we've got loads of conveyor belts. Four bricks, fancy furniture. Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Fancy table. Wait, there's beds and chairs and stuff? Oh, my God. A throne. Fit for a melon king. 
golden head statues. Like, hello? Oh my god. Clautium hydro pipe. Decreases water pressure. Interesting. More cork. Cor corks? Corks. Water pressure gorge hook. Attaches to straight pipes. And then a water filter hook. Attached to a straight pipe. To filter water, increase water. <gasps> this is what I need over at my place because every that's why I need the spanners because I needed to keep repairing the machines because they were getting damaged. They kept like sparks were flying out of them. So if I put these onto a pipe, it's going to increase the water quality. Cool. Okay. So then we've got the small, small furnace and then a smelter. Smelts or... Wait, what's the difference between... Oh, this is a combined... So that's that, that and that combined into one. Interesting. So that actually just removes using that, that and that. So you, you can just have it as one item. Cool. And a funnel, funnel things. Oh. This game is so goddamn cool. Logic compressor. Compresses cut gems. Uses uh, by either the hand lever or logic. Magnifying glass. Displays durability. Oh my god. Magnet on us. It's a magnet. It's, a, it's on a stick. Attracts resources. Wingardian Leviosa. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I went down to, like, one FPS. This looks like an actual, like, bombs gone off here this is a pigsty Th this is bad this is bad for me you know i'm on like i'm on like super low fps uh but i think this is mainly the reason because i bought a lot of stuff i bought pipes i bought conveyors i bought more pipes and i even bought more conveyors and then i bought these individual attachments because i don't have a clue they, how they work how they function so i wanted to save my money where i knew these are just going to be placeables and then these go underneath right to power them uh, and i don't know how many i'm going to need because i kind of want to set up a system um that's going to look cool oh i got these as well the wait these like auto sorts of things which might remove this thing maybe 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 so what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna get the concrete floor and we're gonna build some form of foundation right so we can start like a proper system wait the construct oh my god i'm such a spoon i thought this was to place the concrete stuff down but no it's no it permanently locks items like what i've been doing is i've been like spamming e to pick these up and i've accidentally picked up this up like before and then I've not been able to place it back down because all the gems are in the way. So, oh my god, this is still activated. <laughs> it is, it's still activated. And yeah, so it was a, it was been a whole pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna take absolutely forever. Like, hello, I've got to place all these on here, and they're not exactly like large foundations, right? They're just the cubes. So I don't know how many I'm going to put down. I'm going to guess this is one block, right? So one conveyor belt can go on this. And and we have a lot. Like, a lot. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the miner, like, in this location. And then we're going to get that to spit onto a belt. Which is then going to go up into the, the harvest, I think. It's, oh, my God. The FPS is already going. But I'm going to put the foundation in this area. As you can see, we got quite a few blocks right here. So let's put all that down. And then hopefully that reduces the FPS. If not, I'm going to have to go and sell a lot of these jewels. Because it's getting out of hand. Okay, so as you can see, I've now put a bit of a contraption down. We have the pump coming out. It then comes along, goes through the valve. And then we've got this thing going right here. This is where you put the power shards in. Uh, and then uh, we've got a split. So we've got this being powered separately. Water then comes along this pipe. Goes underneath these belts uh, to power these and then goes underneath into a t-shape right there water goes into this harvester it then comes up the back into that conveyor belt passes through it to then come down here to go onto these conveyor belts and that's where i've got so far but what i've done is i've also put a couple of conveyor belts here because i want to add these here um because i want to see how this is going to work so i do kind of want to keep things uh like clean and i want to put these here just because 
like they always come out of there i don't know if they're going to come out straight but in case they just bounce to one side this is going to strain it up and then i'm going to put the polisher here this might not work on everything but it we're just science in it right so then that's going to polish some rocks and then i want to look at these this right here so i'm gonna oh i can't put, i don't think i put this down yeah you can see you can't put this down until the pipes underneath it um so let's let me just grab an extra pipe put that down under there and then uh oh i'm not i'm not hammered that into place ah! wait that way rotate there okay and then i can grab that and then put that on here so we can kind of see the arrows so it means that whatever is selected is going to come down this way right i think i think i could be so wrong so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick science test um what i want to grab is i want to grab some just let's grab a piece of iron no let's just grab some piece of gold it's a bit brighter to see right it's brighter so then we'll go up here i'll drop the gold onto there so let's turn that on there goes the rock goes up the lift then comes up onto the top conveyor belt to fall into here that spits out and then this iron should technically go straight ahead it should go straight ahead please go straight ahead and this gold should turn come on yes 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 yes, yes. we've done it we've done it right turn this off cool so then what i need to do now then is put more of these along here with like one of every item on top right that means oh come wait this is coming through pretty fast that's turned off as well holy crap okay so what we're going to do now then is we're going to put rest of these along here and we'll put one of each as much as i can if not i'll have to bend it this way because we have a very small piece of land oh what is that wait is that oh wait did that oh crap that polished the actual a sapphire so that's how you remove the rock from it then you've got to use the polish ah, ha, 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 ha. okay there we now go i have now set it up we've got a ruby up there we've got an emerald up there we have a sapphire the power shard the iron and also the gold there is one piece which is that uh, 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 yeah that one you know which one i mean you know which one somebody will tell me in the comments anyway i just can't find a piece in all of that so i've just left it blank for now and i've just put a bucket at the end of here because so if 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 one comes in it should end up in that bucket and this now should work so we need to trial run it so let's grab as much as we can and then put in the bucket uh... okay I, I think it's going in there but i don't know if it's coming out at the same time as i'm trying all right it's coming out the bucket Okay, let's just try that. And let's see if our invention works. I think I'm just going to pour it onto this one, right? Because I can't pour it in there because I did a test earlier. And there's a little bit of iron down there now. So I'm going to pour it onto this one. And fingers crossed. Oh. Um. Uh-oh. There's the gold. It's coming in clumps. <sighs> it's raining. It's working. It's actually working. So now we need to figure out how to get all of that into this. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I think I've come up with a solution. I've just basically made a turn there and then added this big long conveyor belt up to the actual hull but after a bunch of tests we had a bit of an issue we didn't have enough pressure of water going down there so what i've had to do is i've had to create two of these i i did try using one at first but it, it was just was not powering these two at the end so what i've had to do i've had to add another one and then just grab my bucket and then fill it with the actual power shards and it does seem to work now so i've left that ready because what i need to do now is i need to try and lift some of this up onto this belt right here so it's going to go along and then it's going to let me up there we go and then it's going to go into this and it's going to center and then turn the corner get polished and go into where it needs to so let's actually hold on a minute we're just going to create another problem for ourselves aren't we it's just going to go into the bucket and then we need to pick up the bucket to go and smelt what if we can automate 
the smelting. <gasps> the thing at the other place. These things. We need three of them. We need so it's, it lights the fire on the bottom, smelts whatever's in there, and then puts it straight into a bar. And then we can kind of automate it. It's just that I've got to activate these to pour, unless we can do some form of logic. So let's purchase them. I've got 1,068. I may as well leave the gold in there. I'll kind of keep doing that. Let's leave the gold in it. It saves you transporting around. Now we just need to load these onto the vehicle. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah River. Okay. Don't go straight down the cliff, Bitsy. Right, Betty. Let's unload some of these. I'm, I have a funny feeling they might need to be raised, maybe. Oh, they do. So we need to put some, um, what's it called there, don't we? Some, um, them things. Ramps. Bloody hell. Right, so I've placed them down. I just need to test to see if the belts are moving. They are perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we need to... Um, remove that stuff, right? Okay, let's just grab this one. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's on. Oh my, no, it's back off again. <laughs> I just want to add this onto there. Oh, this could take a while, couldn't it? This is taking way too long. Oh, it's in a bundle. It's in a bundle. We've got some polished emeralds. So let's see if the gold gets turned into liquid gold, right? Oh! oh! Holy bananas! We have boys. Oh, that's loud. That is loud. That is loud. We got boys. We got gold. Shut up. So as I was saying, we've got gold, iron, and the power shard boys. So I guess they'll be easy, easier to put in there, right? Saves utilizing these. Okay, right. Let's turn it all off. And now I need to try and get this all onto the belt. Okay, so that hedgehog right there is what's causing this massive frame rate. I, I, <laughs> it's so hard to look around. But it's because every because of there's a lot moving inside that one chunk, like it's just killing my FPS. So as soon as it gets put into the smelter, it should be totally fine. Okay, my FPS is slowly coming back, and these are nearly full. I'm guessing they have a limit. It's just the power shards now. There we go. FPS is back. And we've got quite a bit of jewels as well. Well, it's slowly getting back. The hole is empty. There's no more gems. And I'm back to a smooth 144 hertz. And we have some boys. We have a gold, iron, and goddamn power shard one. These are still going. This is all functioning. Uh, is it? Oh, God, no, it's not. Grab me toolkit. Fix that. And we have movement. Now we need to see how much gold coins we are going to get for selling these. I'm going to keep this one because I'm going to use it for um, the power. So uh, I'm going to keep these. But saying that, I won't need all of these. So without further ado, let's go and see how much we're going to make. I'm not going to look. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> it's that big. It's broke the side. It's broke the side. Oh my god. <laughs> the first thumbnail was not clickbait. The, 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 the first part was. The first video was not clickbait, guys. You can clearly see that is 3.2 million. 3.2 million. We are so rich. We're so rich. Oh boy. We have got money for days. Now it's time to expand, buy new land, make bigger and better automation and systems or whatever you're going to call it. You're going to have to wait until the next one. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my other content. And uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next video. And as always... 
keep smiling.